Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to create a bar chart in Excel and add standard error bars. Let's assume we conducted a contact angle measurement and here's our data set. Using this data, I'll walk you through how to create the bar chart. Ready? Let's dive into Excel. As you can see, here is the data set we are going to convert into a bar chart for a yeah, better yeah, visualization. First, we will calculate the mean and standard deviation using Excel functions. Start by typing an equal sign equals, yeah, followed by average, then open the parentheses. After that, use the cursor keys to select the data range for the mean calculation. Next. Repeat the process for standard yeah, deviation by typing equals STDEV and selecting the range. Once calculated, yeah, to move to the next column, yeah, select the appropriate range of yeah, four cells and repeat the process for yeah, mean and standard deviation. Use Ctrl plus R to autofill the function from the left cell into the selected cell. Okay. How's it going so far? Are you with me? Once the calculations are done, I want to format the decimal places. Press Ctrl plus 1 to open the formatting option and change the decimal points to 0. Now we are ready to create the bar chart. In Korean, we say starting is half. We've just finished 50%. Yeah. I will copy the title name to here. The easiest way is, for example, to first choose and highlight these four cells. Then Excel will automatically add the group information in the chart, which is convenient. Select the cells with the title and mean values. Go to Insert, and then choose Recommended Chart and select a bar chart. Well done. Uh, so far, I'll remove the chart title and grid line for a more professional look. Now, let's add standard error bars. This will make the chart look completely different. From here on, stay focused on the procedure as most students haven't had experience adding standard error bars. Click on the bars in the chart, go to add chart element, yeah, select error bars, then choose more error bars options. Select custom and specify your values by choosing the cells that contain your standard deviation. Press OK and your standard error bars will be added. And OK. Now you know how to add a standard deviation. What do we need to do next? Yeah, we need to add the X and Y axis title. All figures should shape X axis and Y axis titles in scientific lab report. Thus, we'll add axis titles. Go to chart design, click add chart element, and select axis titles. And we need to get back into the X title. Yeah. Then, yeah, let's add the treatment here. Treatment. Contact angle. Label it contact angle degrees. Both the x-axis and y-axis need titles and units for your lab report. To add degree symbol, find insert menu first and then search in the symbol. Find degree symbol and click insert to insert symbol. We're almost done. Let's adjust the aesthetics. Yes, I like the color and I want to change the font. This is Arial and it looks nice. 
The interesting part is that the font color isn't black, it's gray. I'll also change it, the font color to black for better uh, contrast. Next, I want to add a outside line. Click on the chart, go to format and adjust the line color and thickness to make it look cleaner. I'll also change yeah, the line color to black yeah, for better yeah, contrast. I would like to adjust the line color and thickness yeah, to make it look cleaner in error bar 2. Let's change the error bar. This is really well done. It's really well made and it looks really sharp. You can see the difference easily. Look here, yeah, the bottom is actually a different yeah, line width. So I want to change it here. So it's 95% complete. Now let's add a t-test between two groups. Use the equals t-t-e-s-t -T -E function with the appropriate parameters to tail and to sample equal variance. As I mentioned earlier, to view more decimal places, the shortcut key is control plus one. After changing number of decimal points, now we can see the real p-value, which is yeah, quite small. As we learned in the lecture, when the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we can conclude that the result is significantly different. Okay, so from now on, I want to work in PowerPoint. Since I want to annotate the statistical results in a PowerPoint, I can convert it to JPEG, PDF, or other file formats. I want to add a line above the bar chart, yeah, drawing it from here to here. So I'll click here to start. I want to add a line with a thicker width in the style I prefer. As I did earlier, I'll choose 1.25 points for consistency. For scientific figures and reports, maintaining consistency in style and formatting is crucial. Mm, here we go. The p-value is very small, so I'll express it as less than 0 0.001 instead of using many yeah, decimal places. This is a standard way of reporting yeah, p-values. I'm going to italicize the letter p to differentiate it. A common mistake students make is yeah, yeah, reporting too many yeah, decimal places for the p-value, yeah, making it look messy. In science, researchers use three levels of yeah, p-values, p less than 0.05, p less than 0 0.01 and p less than 0 0.001. The figure is ready for your lab report. Yeah, just capture or convert it to a JPEG file. Thank you.